Hello, today I got this power supply from Aliexpress. It's a uh, one pick adjustable power supply. And the model is NPS306W. It's a 30 volt, 6 ampere, 180 watts power supply. It's supposed to be 180 watts power supply. It's about 32 pound with free shipping if you're buying and going to the UK just remember that this price does not include VAT so you have to pay 20% on top of that 32.41 pound okay let's look at the power supply it comes in this small box here. So here it is. One pick, one tick. NPS 306W. 30 volts, 0 to 30 volts, 6 amperes. It is the probe for the oscilloscope here. Let me show the ripple. I need to fix that later. I soldered that to the capacitor over there. So I need to fix that pin there later. Okay, so the power supply has four knobs here two for the voltage and two for current this is the first adjustment and the fine adjustment same for the current so the maximum output of the power supply is 31.4 um, uh, voltage 31.4 volts One thing about the power supply is you're gonna adjust the current limit here. Yeah. You need to have a load to adjust the current. So you need to use either a electronic loader to adjust your current or you can use a resistor to act as a load and adjust the current. Okay, let's test the... <coughs> okay. Without load, the power supply is pulling it's about 6 watts there. So we had 230 volts input to the power supply, 50 hertz. Power factor is about 0.4 there. So we, okay, we had a 1 ampere load there. Okay, so uh, one ampere load for turn it on. Just it to thirty volts. With uh, okay, let's check the efficiency of the power supply at one ampere load. It's about. 30 watts there 30 watts and uh, it's pulling about 40 watts from the main so 30 divide 40 so it's about 75% efficiency at 1 ampere load now let's try 5 amperes Five amperes, so that's about 150 watts there, and this it's uh, pulling about 172 watts from the main. 150, 150 divided 172. It's about 87 percent efficiency at 
5 amperes. Now, this power supply is uh, should be 30 volt at 6 amperes should be 100, should be capable at 180 watts. Okay, let's try this at 6 amperes. 6 amperes. hundred eighty watts and uh, it's pulling about two hundred five watts there so 180 divide 205 it's, it's the same 87 percent efficiency now let's look at the ripple output ripple at one ampere one ampere Uh, the fix the loose capacitor pins there. Okay, so here it is. The ripple at uh, one ampere. AC bandwidth limit on times one probe. Yes, times one probe. Now let's pause the one. Let's go to cursor. The ripple is about 76.8 volts. Not now, let's try 6 amperes. 6 amperes. About 6 amperes there, 180 watts. Run. Pause. So the ripple is about 88.8 millivolt at 6 amperes. Now let's try to open the power supply and see what's inside. Turn this off first. Okay, let's pull this out. Sad before the switch on. Okay, let me close this first. There's about four screw here on this side. And four screw on the other side like this no screw to okay so how is the power supply with the cover removed the big heat sink here there's a fan there Okay, so on the input side, there's a Y capacitor there, two of them, the blue one and two X capacitor, the yellow one, and the common mode choke, thermistor, and there is a rectifier diode there, bridge rectifier. Value of the output capacitor, secondary output capacitor. 
like that's a thousand UF 35 volt yes three of them <coughs> so there's an induct so there's an inductor here there's the current sensor so it looks like this using a CL C filtering here and there's a it's probably a 0.1 UF capacitor okay, so that's the that's probably the switching transistor there and that's probably the rectifier diode for the output yes rectifier this this assigned the diode there's not much in here there's the switch here okay guys that's all please subscribe please subscribe if you like the video comments down below like or dislike thank you for watching see you next time